Hey there, survivors. Cougar here, checking out a beautiful looking city builder called Cliff Empire. Uh, now, a little compare and contrast here. I just showed you a game called Buoyancy that had, you know, acceptable graphics, but new and innovative gameplay ideas. Here we've got incredible graphics, but nothing really earth shattering or, or groundbreaking in terms of the, the city builder part of this. Um, this game does have a fantastic tutorial. Any developers working on a city builder game looking to make a good tutorial, this is how you do it. So we're going to start a new game and we're actually going to play through the tutorial because it's it's pretty open-ended, but it gives you a lot of good guidance for new players. I am still a new player. Uh, I've only got a few hours into this game, so I'm uh, the tutorial is going to be useful for me, but it's also going to uh, serve an, ex an, ex an example of what a good tutorial should play like. Uh, so with that in mind, let's start the tutorial. It wants us to build storage. Now, it gives us a, a task, but if we click on it, it gives us more information about the task that we're supposed to do, including what tab we're supposed to go to to build this thing and what it will look like when it's built. So let's get that done. We're going to build some uh, storage here. To build, all you need to do is just click on any of these empty squares, go to industry, go to storage, choose a location. We'll put it at a nice central location here. These maps are, construction completed. are randomly generated Objective and completed. you can re-roll the map as many times as you want when you first start until you get a map that you like. The idea here is that there's a, a level of radioactive mist down at ground level, and we cannot uh, build down there, so we're building up on these cliffs, these little islands, if you like. And and that's the thing, they, they could be islands, they could be uh, asteroids, you know, the, the cliff part of it doesn't really come into it. We're just talking about a limited build space here. All right, we've built our first storage. We got 250 bucks for doing that. Now it wants us to build a landing platform and housing for 15 citizens. I'm sorry that it is already nighttime, uh, so it's going to be a little bit harder to see what's going on here, but let's get a, let's go to the personnel tab, the population tab, get a landing platform, build that, off to one side here that looks like a place for it and then go again back to the building tab or the population tab and build a couple of houses let's build those kind of near where our people are going to be landing there are different speed settings this is one time speed this is three times speed there's also six times speed and you can pause the game and still do stuff while the game is paused if you so let's just get this Medium stuff built. Construction completed. We've got our landing pad. Small construction We've completed. We've got places for people to live. Now people will be willing to, well, as soon as the second house is built, people will be willing to come down Small and construction join completed. our colony. Here comes the New first dropship. What a beautiful completed. looking game, guys. Oh my gosh. They knocked it out of the park with the graphics on this. It's just astounding. What I love about it is the level of zoom. I mean, you can get right down inside these buildings, basically. And the level of detail uh, may, will maintain itself throughout. So here come our first batch of survivors. Uh, we've completed that objective for the tutorial, so let's move on. We got a little bit of money for completing that. They want us to settle 15 citizens total, which is basically kind of going to happen on its own here now that they've got a place to live. And what one of the things I like about the tutorial is it, it is completed. flexible. You can go off and do your own stuff if you want, um, but you do risk getting ahead of things a little bit if you do that. So let's just try to follow along with the tutorial as, as closely as possible. We've settled our 15 citizens. Next thing it wants to do is to generate a power surplus by building some power supply stuff. So let's go to the... And again, I just want to illustrate that this is a good tutorial thing because, okay, I can figure that out on my own if I want to. If I need a little bit more help, I'm going to click on it and it'll tell me exactly what to do. 
Now, if I click on the information screen up here, it tells us a little bit about the cliffside that we're on. We've got a lot of sunshine here, 100% sunshine, and not much windiness. So we're probably going to favor uh, solar power over wind power here. Let's start with one big solar station and put that in a central location, maybe away from the cliffs. Uh, the, the wind power will be more effective if it's built on a cliff edge so the, it doesn't matter for the solar so let's keep the solar off on away from the cliff edges here i'm not sure that that's that that one bank of solar power is going to be enough we'll speed this up to three times speed and see where that gets us i think we're gonna have to build a little bit more here large construction nope, that completed. Did it. okay so we're generating a power Objective surplus completed. now now it wants us to build a battery station to store that surplus. So we'll go to the power tab again. Here's a battery station. Choose location for it. Let's keep it close to all this stuff. Uh, now I would normally build two battery stations here. Small it, construction completed. It only wants us to build one. And the tutorial kind of bases its instructions on the assumption that you're only doing what it tells you to do. So we're only going to build one battery storage station here. And what's happening now is, well, we're not banking any power now because the sun's not up, but the sun just came up. Now we're banking some power. Now our battery station is generating batteries. And these batteries will be stored at our storage spot here until they're needed, like at night when there's no solar power coming in. Look at the level of detail down here, guys. This is insane. It's gorgeous. Wow. All right. So we're, we've got one of the two batteries that the tutorial wants us to charge. Just waiting on the next one to generate. Uh, you can build, so this will be our first city. There will be other cities that we can build on adjacent cliffs. Completed. And then we can connect these cliffs either with bridges. Shoot, I should have planned ahead and not built that 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 thing there because we might need to run a bridge across here but we can deal with that when we have to we can always deconstruct this and build it somewhere else all right we've completed that objective we'll get a little money reward for it now it wants us to build a water extraction station and do some water extraction so for that we're going to go to the food tab find the water extraction station and plop that down doesn't really matter where for the water extraction now there's another building medium construction completed that you can build on water so some of these cliffs have some standing water on them see and then in that case we could build a water filter put it down next to this source of water and uh, be pumping water up out of there and filtering it that way but we have no standing water on our initial cliff here so we just gotta do it the old-fashioned way just drill and suck it up from underneath us so now, as with the batteries, we're just waiting for our... Whoops, I clicked on the storage. Waiting for our water extraction station to extract a little bit of water. Here it goes. We've got two of three. Third one coming now. Uh, stuff down here, you, you can set priorities for buildings uh, in terms of how our drones maintain them and gather stuff from them. So we'll just leave everything at the baseline. Objective completed. Priority right now. Okay, we've completed that. Let's move on to building a crop field. Now, crop fields are one of the items that can be built on, that, that do better when they're built on the cliff edge. So let's build this over here on the cliff edge. Get our people something to eat. Now that we've got some water, now they need some food. Large construction completed. Great. And again, Objective completed. Just <laughs> Look at that. Look at how beautifully detailed that is. My gosh. Boy, they did a good job on this. Like I said, no real groundbreaking new city builder mechanics involved here. Next thing we're going to do is build... A, so we've been using matter. The the three resources up here. Matter. We've got 64 pieces of, of matter. Uh, 71 water and 53 food so we've been using the matter that was dropped down with our initial storehouse so far now we got to start bringing up our own matter so we're going to go to the industry tab find a matter mine and put down some and, and start 
creating our own matter. Now again, uh, if this was just me doing this without the tutorial, I would build two of these if I had the resources to do it. Large construction completed. But uh, let's just stick with what the tutorial is telling us to do here. Now in this case, I was talking about building priorities earlier. In this case, we are going to set this building priority to one, which is the highest, and make sure that the drones are visiting that as a top priority and retrieving any matter that is produced by our matter mine uh, first, the very first thing that, that we're gonna do, that they're gonna do priority-wise. Again, I, I, I don't want to jump ahead of the tutorial. At this point, we could be building more housing and bringing down more colonists from orbit. Uh, because we do have some basic infrastructure set up now. We've got water, we've got food, we've, we're creating our own matter. But let's just stick with what the tutorial is telling us to do. Uh, so we completed that tutorial objective. We can pick up a little bit of money for that. Now it wants us to add more citizens. So now we're going to build more housing. Go to our population tab. Let's put down a medium residence this time. Uh, let's put it down on the other side here. The, there is not a lot of reason to... Uh, I mean, your layout, eventually you can get to a point where you're setting up a good layout for your people in terms Medium of construction completed. they're not being, you know, they're not being New a lot of pollution arrived. near the, the the residential areas and stuff like that, but I'm, I'm not really at that point yet. As I said, I'm still a, a beginner, so we're just going to wait for our new citizen. Here come 15 more citizens. This will bring us up to 30. We need to get to 40. That's going to take one more drop of citizens. But if you look down here in the lower left-hand corner, this tells us that we have 30 citizens and 52 places for them to live. So another batch of survivors will be ready to come down to us as soon as that drop ship gets back up new to orbit. Citizens arrive. Here they come. And this group of survivors will complete that tutorial objective for us. Our manpower is at 100%. We do not have a lot of places for these people to work. We've got a lot of idle, completed. idle citizens right now because we haven't put down any businesses. We've only put down one manufacturing facility over here. The matter mine. Well, I guess you can you can count the the um, the water extractor and the the battery power as as places to work as well. But all right, we've completed that objective. Let's get our reward. Now our objective is to build a town square. A town square is the most basic form of entertainment there is. So we're going to go to the social tab. No, not social. We're going to go to the population tab. Sorry. Well, if I have questions, I just click on this. We go to the business tab for the town square. There's the town square. Again, the most basic form of entertainment for our people, our population. Let's rotate that around so it lines up with the exit from our dropship. Large construction completed. Objective completed. And now our people have a, ch a place to go to hang out and chat, get to know each other. So we finished that objective. Next objective is to build a maintenance center because all of these buildings have a, a a state of maintenance and it is going down constantly as they're in use so now we need to build something that will take care of them for that we go to the security tab and build a maintenance center now a maintenance center requires some advanced stuff that being an engine two engines two batteries and luckily we have some engines and batteries well we're, we're making batteries but we have some engines uh, that came down with our initial storage drop. So they should be able to make this maintenance facility pretty quickly. They have everything they need for it. Just doing Medium it construction completed. Right. And then these are the maintenance Objective drones completed. on top here. These are the drones that will go put out any buildings that catch on fire and conduct basic maintenance on fire on buildings that are falling into disrepair. Okay, so we've completed that objective. Moving on, build a 3D printing facility, which is where we can produce our own engines and other stuff like furniture and electronic goods to keep our citizens happy. So we will go to the... 
uh, the industry tab, find the 3D printing facility. We only need 12 bars of matter to produce this. Let's, this can be at a nice, at an out of the way location. This doesn't have to be near anything, so put it over there. The day-night cycle is beautiful. I don't know at what point the game is more beautiful, whether it's during the day or during the Large night. Large construction completed. Great, now we just need to set this to craft and two engines and two pieces of furniture. Ah, oh, wait. And it, so it, it's pr producing these two items right now. Now, if we let it produce nothing but these two items, it will become specialized at producing these two items and become more efficient at producing them. If we have it producing a, a variety of items like appliances and electronic gadgets and furniture and engines, then it will just become it will be it will be like a multi-purpose facility and won't develop any specializations. So that's why you you want to kind of let you, you want to build enough of these uh, these printing facilities that you can have them specializing and becoming uh, specialized <laughs> items. I'm going to zoom completed. all the way in here. Look at you can see it building the engines and the furniture. Amazing. There's a building called a salad uh, factory or something where you can zoom in and like basically s see droplets of water on the leaves of the, of the lettuce you're building. It's incredible. All right, now it wants us to build a trading portal and earn some money through the trading portal. This is something I, I do not really have much experience with, and I'm, I'm not sure the proper way to do it, but let's go to industry, build a, ta a trading portal. I'm going to put it off here on the edge of the cliff. I don't know if that... I just don't want it in the way. It's so big that I've had problems where I've it, it, it's blocking my view sometimes. So I'll just do that. Let it build. Now this also needs some specialized. Oh no, it doesn't. I thought it needed some specialized stuff to be built. But we are running a little low on our matter bars here. We've only got three in Huge stock. Construction completed. We've finished that construction. Now we need to earn some money through it. Trading so platform here, here comes the first trading platform. We don't have any trading set up in it yet, and I'm not really sure what all is going on on this screen, to be honest. But what we're going to do is we're going to sell some overflow stuff here as a one-time sale, just to make a little bit of money to complete that objective. Let's sell 10 of our water. So just type 10 in there and hit enter. And then do we have anything else that we might be able to sell? Well, we're producing our own engines now. We're going to need those engines, but still we have 12 in stock. So why don't I just sell five of those? Try to make a little money that way. Close that and then watch up here. We've already earned $30 of the $50 that it wants us to earn for our objective. And we, we just got to wait until there's demand enough uh, for this water to be sold and for the engines to be sold. That'll, that'll depend on these price, price fluctuations down here. You can see right now our engines are selling very cheaply for only $3 an engine. So uh, those should be going out, but they won't be making us more money. And, and we have to wait for the next uh, trade platform to come in before we make our next batch of money. So in the meantime, I'm going to skip ahead ahead of the tutorial process a little bit because I know that we're running low on matter and matter is needed for everything. So I am just going to skip ahead a tiny bit by building one thing that the tutorial is not telling us to build, which is this matter mine. As we wait for the next trading portal to come through, or trading platform to come through the portal. Trading platform arrived. Great, now we should we should make a little money off of this. Boink and boink. Objective We're done. Completed. Now we can pick up our reward, move on to the next thing. It wants us to build a pharmaceutical unit to help our uh, populace stay healthy and a salad farm. And again, if I need more information, I just click on here. Pharmaceutical unit is found at the, the social thing, and the salad farm is done at the food thing. So let's do that. Let's get our pharmaceutical unit down close to where everyone is to keep them nice and healthy and happy. And then let's get a salad farm down from the food. 
uh, and then we can build a market which requires salad goods uh, in order to operate. So let's just put this over here by our production. Well, let's put it out here. And we're, this construction will probably go a little bit slowly because, again, we are out of matter that we need to build all these things. And we're going to have to wait for this stuff to be built. I'm going to set the priority on this matter mine, which is under construction, to the highest priority so that this gets the matter first. That will lead us to creating more of our own matter so that we can finish these two other constructions. Now, see, uh, uh, I said when I put down this second matter mine here that... I was jumping ahead of the tutorial, and the tutorial was taking into account, in telling us to build the pharmaceutical unit and the salad farm, it was expecting there to be a little bit more uh, matter Trading there, because we went and built this second matter mine without it telling us to. So we, we stole matter from the tutorial, which is why this might take Large a little bit construction longer. Completed. Now that that is actually built, I'm going to set the priority to this, to the highest priority as well, so that our drones are taking the matter off of here as soon as it appears. Like that. Let's try to get this completed. This is our pharmaceutical bay. That's going that's going slowly because our I can speed time up to six since I, I kinda Cheated the, uh, completed. the tutorial. Look at this. You can, you can see, like, in the windows, practically. It's fantastic. And then this salad farm, as soon as it's built, this will be where you can zoom in and see the droplets of water on the leaves. Crazy, the level of, of detail uh, on the zoomed-in views here. Still under construction. So our 3D printer over here is taking in matter and turning it into engines and furniture, and it is slowly becoming specialized at doing that. We want to build another one at some point to turn out the other two products in there, the appliances and the trading platform electronic arrived. goods. Uh, trading platforms here, but we're not actually doing any trading right now because we're not really producing anything that we sell. We need pretty much everything we have right now. Alright, um, again, I'll speed this up to six times because I, I cheated the tutorial by building that second matter mine. So I've kind of thrown off the tutorial's progression a little bit here. But that's another thing that I like about the tutorial. You're not totally locked into doing exactly what it says when it says if you want to if you feel like okay i've got the hang of this now i don't really need the tutorial anymore i can just take it from here uh that's totally viable too you can turn off the tutorial whenever you want you see we got an indication up here four dollars were stolen from our accounts that's because we have no kind of law keeping buildings down yet uh, if i go to the the security tab for one thing you can build things like this but also the trading platform arrived the social institute tab we can build town halls that impose a little bit of law and order here uh, courts for even more law and order Medium construction completed. so on and so forth all right our Objective salad farm completed. is done <laughs> look at this look at this look at the zoom level guys and the texture work on these plants no skimping on the textures amazing Great, let's get our reward for that and move on to building an airport at which we can build more drones. The cargo drones are what you see zipping around doing stuff right now. Uh, the, the airport is under population, I think. No, I'm going to have to go to the tutorial. It's under industry. Okay. Trading platform arrived. Airport. Choose location. Those verbal notifications, you can turn those off, by the way, if you don't like them. When she says trading platform arrived. It's very customizable in this game, too. 
Uh, yeah, 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 you can be over here, I guess. Not a great place for it, but... Where, this is not the largest land mass I've seen. Uh, my initial gameplay was on a, a larger one, but, you know, that's the, the luck of the draw. And as I said, when you first start the game, there's a bu big button down here to, to re-roll your starting areas until you get something that you like. Still building an airport and still a little behind the curve on uh, our our matter production here. Trading platform arrived. We could buy more material, more matter through the trading platform. Uh, let's 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 set this to buy some if the price is right. So if if it's selling for less than than we're buying it at, you know, if we can buy it cheaper than us selling it you know what i'm saying buy low sell high that's what we're trying to do we're trying to buy low if the opportunity Huge presents itself completed. for us to buy some material at a good price it will do that some matter great our uh airport is finished so now we click on this and now we tell it to build two cargo drones cargo drones will conduct deliveries and maintenance and stuff like that uh personal drones are for your Trading uh, platform for your population alive. to help them get around a little bit easier. Uh, basically, you're trying to make this this city as attractive as possible to people coming down from orbit. So right now, we have 15 people up in orbit who want to come down and join our place. And we're a little short on manpower. We've got more positions available than we have workers. So we could build some more people down. To do that, we need to build a little bit more housing. Uh, we've got 45 people here already. We've got 52 places for them to live. So we need, they'll come down in groups of 15. So we want to build to get us past the 15 threshold to bring down more people. Now, again, I'm, I'm jumping ahead of the, of the tutorial here by doing that. Trading platform arrived. Which can, you know, slow our progress tutorial-wise. Objective completed. We've, all right, we've completed the objective of building two more cargo drones. Next objective is to teach us how to disable stuff like this. All you got to do is right-click on it, and it puts it into sleep mode, and then right-click on it to re-enable it. And it wants us to do this twice, just to teach us that it's that objective easy completed. to disable buildings and enable buildings. Because right now, this building is is sucking power, even though we're not actually building anything at it so why don't we actually turn it off for now and leave it off until we need to build more drones now it wants us to improve the aesthetics of our town by building parks and scenery and stuff like that uh, we can do that in a couple of ways well, first let's go to our parks and let's put down a, a garden trading platform arrived well, let's put down a park first before our garden do that right off the town square here so people can come and go in and out of the town square through a beautiful little park medium construction completed that raised our here's our aesthetics rating down here two of four uh, we need to improve it a bunch more to satisfy the tutorial requirements so let's keep building parks and streets pedestrian streets colonnades oxygen chambers monuments uh let's do a large garden here next to our park Medium and there are completed. also certain uh utility buildings that can add to your overall aesthetics Trading platform specifically arrived. i'm talking about this darius turbine now this will generate electricity it also improves aesthetics slightly, 0.2. It will add 0.2 aesthetics. And what I like about it is that it has this odd shape. There are only a few buildings that have this odd shape to them. I'm gonna put three of these down. Tiny construction completed. They will generate more power for us, which Tiny construction everything completed. we build here is, Tiny construction is drawing completed. more power. So we, we need power. We need to keep building up our power supply. And they also add to the aesthetics for our for our tutorial objective here. We need maybe one more park or a couple more of the Darius 
turbines. Let's, let's see if one or two more Darius turbines puts us over the top here. Trading platform arrived. No, I don't think it's going to. Tiny construction completed. Just put these. Tiny construction completed. All over the. Yeah, we're gonna. So I guess we're gonna need five of these to reach the next level. Uh, I don't know if we really want five of them. Yeah, let's just build a park or something instead. Maybe a, a pedestrian street. How about a pedestrian street here next to the exit? Oh, that's a small street. Hang on. I think we can do better than that. How much longer is this? Yeah, there we go. That should Tiny put us over the top. Yeah. All right, we've approved our aesthetics enough objective to move on to completed. the next tutorial objective. Now it wants us to build a town hall to pose a little bit of order on this place. Trading platform arrived. So we'll go to the Social Institute tab, pick the town hall, and choose our location. That takes a lot of materials. This might take a while to build. Let's see if we have what we need to build it. Yeah, we need three more pieces of matter. Almost there. And then we're going to have to build some more housing to settle 70 citizens total. Large construction completed. Gorgeous. Boy, for a city builder, guys. This is beautiful. Great, let's build some more houses and get some more people down here. We do have people waiting to come down to the surface. Uh, so, one, one house takes up one square a medium residence takes up two squares we can also build a residential complex it takes up four squares but houses 52 tenants so let's do that let's do that this way then we won't have to worry about building more housing for a while As soon as that's done, the dropship will come in for another landing. We are... Wow, we're, we're really low on... Shoot, I should have thought of that. Uh, we're, we're really low on matter, and so this is going to take a while. Sorry. Uh, I should have thought of that and put down a couple of smaller places instead. Trading platform arrived. Well, let's see. Have we? Are we bringing in any matter here at the trading platform? I don't think we brought in any yet. We could do a one-time purchase. We're, we're getting a little low on money, but we could do a one-time purchase. Uh, the price of matter is okay right now at 11 cents per matter. It's not terrible. It's not great. But let's just let's just try to get couple of those. I'll, I'll purchase 12 of those the next time a trade thing comes in just to give us a leg up on this massive construction I started. I started this project without thinking too well. We are really low on energy. See this big flashing red bar down here? We're only producing 17% power because we rely primarily on the solar. So... Trading platform arrived. Great. We, we just got a bunch of matter that's going to go directly to building that big residential complex. But we also have to now build some... See, now that the sun is out, we're generating plenty. We're generating excess power, and the power is being turned into batteries that we, we then use at night when there's no sun. But I really think we need Large to... Large construction Great. completed. We need to diversify our power generation a little bit. Arrived. So it's not just solar. Even though our solar is extremely efficient up here on this particular cliffside. So here come 15 more people. We're up to 59 of 70. Our next group of survivors will put us over the top and it should come down immediately. New citizens arrived. Because we have the room for them. Oh, I'm still on six times speed. That made that look really weird. Here come our people. Our next group, this will put us up over 70. Great. Objective completed. And we've completed that objective. Next, it wants us to settle 35 people on our second Trading cliff. Arrived. So basically, we're going to repeat the process that we just did here on another cliff, like this one, which it seems is split in two. 
which is fine. It doesn't matter. We don't need to like build a bridge across that New or anything because right. people will take those shuttles everywhere. Or we could build it over here on this one, which has some water to it. And again, I think we want to go to this one first. But again, this great tutorial system. All right, so how am I going to settle 35 people? I don't need to remember everything that I did over here in our first tutorial city. I can click on it, and it tells us storage, landing platform, housing, power, wind or solar, water extraction, crop fields, matter mines, and then we have the beginnings of a second city. Now, I could do all that with New you, but I just... Arrived. Why don't we leave it here and... Uh, uh, yeah, since I don't want to go through what we just went through with this city on another city, uh, I would love to keep expanding this city since I don't really need the tutorial anymore. Um, but why don't we call it an episode here, a little introduction to Cliff Empire, a beautiful, beautiful looking game with some kind of tried and true city building aspects to it. It's very dark, guys. Oh, because we're, we have no power. There, there's no lights down there because our power is in such terrible shape. We, we got to get some wind generation going. All right, the power is coming back on now that the sun's coming back up. But most of our power is coming from these solar panels over here. So we got to diversify. All right, uh, but thanks for watching, everybody. Trading Leave a like and subscribe right. if you like Cliff Empire. And I'll do another video expanding on this existing city here. And we'll, we'll turn off the tutorial from this point forward and just do it on our own. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe, survivors.